Julius Caesar kidnapped by pirates? What? Let's get into it. Long before the name Caesar was associated with salad dressings and pepperoni pizza, Julius Caesar was known for being the most powerful conqueror and last dictator of the Roman Republic and his gigantic ego. So what happens when you take one of the world's greatest egos and put him against pirates? Let's go back. Way back before the dictatoring and the backstabbing. I'm looking at you, Brutus. <coughs> back to the year 75 BC, when a 25-year-old Julius Caesar was on his way to studying in Rhodes. A little context. At the time, the Mediterranean Sea had a bit of a pirate problem. Like, they were everywhere. While traveling, Julius experienced this problem firsthand when pirates attacked a ship and took him captive. Ooh, what a rush. Hey. How much do you think we're gonna ransom this guy off for? Hmm, 20 talents. 20 talents? You think that's too much? 50 talents. Ask for 50. Yeah, no, that really happened. Caesar literally raised his ransom price and sent his own men to collect. That is a baller move. The next few days, Julius made himself at home. He refused to act like a captive, he bossed them around, he even made them listen to his long, dumb poetry. <clears throat> my life had just begun. Three hours later. Now my next poem called, Day Two of My Life. Please no more. You big dummies, you don't know art. When I get off this ship, I'm going to punish you all my life. <laughs> oh man, you're a funny guy, you know that? Uh, guys, I don't think he's joking. He wasn't joking. 38 days after the ransom was delivered and Caesar was freed, he raised the naval force, found the pirates, and had them uh, punished. Ugh. Note to self, don't mess with Caesar. 